Uh, let's do our last two examples. Inverse functions. If you have two functions, f of x and g of x, we can prove that they are inverses of each other by doing one task. If we do the composition of each function. For example, if I do f of g of x, I need to show that that just cancels everything out and we get down to x. And I also need to flip the letters and prove that g of f of x also cancels everything out and we get down to x. This mimics what we did in our warm-up. Uh, and then the inverse of f of x is denoted by f with a little negative 1 x. It is not f to the negative first power. We read this as f inverse of x. f inverse of x. Sometimes we want it in function notation. Let's do an example here. We need to prove two things. I want to prove that 2x minus 4 and 1 half x plus 2 are inverses in example 3. So we need to show that f of g of x equals x, and we need to show that g of f of x equals x. We need to show that they cancel each other out. So if I'm going to substitute g of x in for f, I would say f of 1 half x plus 2. Uh, let's see, what would that be? Well, f of x tells me to put a 2 in front of my input, or a 2 in front of the 1 half x plus 2, and to subtract 4, and let's see what we get. If we distribute, we're going to get 2 times a half is 1, or 1x. One 2 times 2 is 4, so x plus 4, but then minus 4, and we get x. So that direction works. The functions cancel each other out. What about the other direction? Let's take g of f of x. Well, f of x is 2x minus 4. Let's put that into the g function. What does g tell us to do? It tells us to do 1 half of our input plus 2. Well, let's distribute the half. Half of 2 is 1x minus half of 4 is 2. So x plus 2, or rather negative 2, plus 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is x. Both functions cancel each other out in both directions. Therefore, we can conclude that these functions are inverses. For our last example, we have a function in function notation. Obviously, it says f of x, and you are asked to find f with a little negative 1 of x. That is short for f inverse. So how do we do that? Well, on the front of our paper, we switch the x and the y. Well, I don't see a y in this problem. But if you remember from algebra 1, f of x is just another way of saying y. So I'm going to replace the f of x with y and say y equals x plus 2 over 5. Uh, and now the inverse means we have to switch. The letters, not the numbers. x equals y plus 2 over 5. And we want to get y by itself. So what I would do is take 5 times on both sides to cancel out the 5. It would cancel out on the one side. We would get 5x on the other. So we would have 5x equals y plus 2. Last step, take away 2. And we would get y equals 5x minus 2. And that would be the inverse in y equals form. But we are in function notation. So we need to switch that y back into the f inverse form. So we would conclude that f inverse of x is equal to 5x minus 2.